So you've come to watch EuroLeague Final Four in Konas, but somehow ended up in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. Don't worry, in this video I'll tell you what Vilnius has to offer and trust me, there's a lot. We've got art, nature, history, food, And culture. Now let's go through some of my personal favorites. First we have to start where Vilnius itself started, the Old Town. Here you can take a stroll and explore our heritage sites that are exclusive to the capital. I think what makes this part of Vilnius so unique is the mixture of architectural styles. Take for example Vilnius Cathedral and City Hall which are in the neoclassical style. And now take a look at this gothic church behind me for contrast. There's literally almost every style of architecture in this city. Another iconic location situated in the heart of Vilnius is Gediminas Castle where you can sit down and just take in a panoramic view of the city. And besides, the legend says, this hill is where the city was born. But enough about history, let's talk more about panoramic views. If you're feeling adventurous, there's an alternative way to witness Vilnius in all of its glory. Yup, you can take to the sky and fly high above the city in a hot air balloon. If you still have any doubts, just keep in mind that Vilnius is the only European capital where you can actually do that. Another fun but quite extreme way to see the panorama of Vilnius is walking on the edge of the Vilnius TV tower. But okay, maybe the adventure you're looking for has you with your feet firmly planted on the ground. Let me recommend something else. Prison. Well, technically it's still called a prison, but the Lukashka's prison located in the town center now offers stores of once fully operational facilities. It has also become an amazing hub for artists, events, and just a nice cold beer in the inner yard. After all this traveling, your legs might be getting heavy, so why not take a break on Vilna Street, where you can enjoy a pint of a local craft beer. The best part about being in Vilna Street is that it connects to two other bustling streets forming the Vilna Triangle. Vokicu Street is where you'll find even more food and drink options, while Islandia Street hosts master mixologists who create the most refreshing cocktails. Seriously, Vilna Triangle is the perfect place to end up on a night out. If you're more interested in food rather than going out, you can enjoy some of Lithuania's culinary offerings. We have traditional dishes such as meat-filled potato dumplings Cepelinai, or, if you're feeling brave, Lithuania's famous pink soup, Šiltybarši, perfect for those sunny days. If it's just a snack you're craving, try the delicious Kepta Duona, fried rye bread served with garlicky cheese sauce. But where do you find all these delicious Lithuanian dishes, you might ask? Well, you're lucky, because in Pilia Street you can find all of that and more. Once you've finished eating, drinking and exploring the offerings of the vibrant Vilnius Old Town, I invite you down to the city's artistic hub, Užupis. Often compared to the famous Montmartre district of Paris, this bohemian artistic neighborhood is known for its statues like the Angel of Užupis, its liberal vibe and eccentric scenery. Before you leave, there's a little hidden gem right by Užupis Bridge. You can find a sculpture of a wandering mermaid here, as well as a swing over the river that you can actually use. Having exhausted all of Vilnius' historical monuments, why not try something modern? This is Popis, a contemporary area where you can find modern architecture while still being connected to nature. My absolute favorite place to visit here is Popis Market. The market offers all of Lithuania's culinary offerings that you might have missed out on, as well as a broad variety of world cuisines. So that's all, you might come here just for basketball, but leave with so much more. A full stomach, a happy heart and an open mind. And what I've shown you in this video is just a fraction of Vilnius greatness, so come here and explore it yourself.